Investment accounts in iBank reflect your real-life brokerage accounts and are used to record all investment-related transactions. Setting up an investment account in iBank is easy, but slightly different than setting up a bank account, like a checking account. Click the Add Account button. Name the account. Choose whether it's an investment account or a 401k. We'll choose investment account for this example iBank will ask you to choose a financial institution. You can easily find yours by starting to type the name in the search field. If you can't find your bank on this list, select Other Financial Institution. Some banks offer a direct download method. Some banks only offer downloads via their website. For more in-depth information on how to set up your account for either option, View the Adding Accounts section of the iBank Help Documents or view the Account Setup Tutorial video at iggsoftware.com. After your account info is downloaded, iBank will ask you to enter the current cash value of the account. Note that this is not the market value of the securities, but the actual amount of cash in the account that is not invested in securities iBank will compare the account's transaction history against your current security positions. If it finds that the cost basis is incomplete for any of your securities, you'll be shown a list of these securities. Click the Print button to print a copy of the list for reference, then either click I'll enter it later to ignore the discrepancies and complete the account setup, or click Enter Cost Basis to fill in the missing data. If you choose to fill in the missing data, iBank will present one security at a time. In the box at the top is shown the security's name and ticker symbol, along with the number of shares for which the cost basis is missing. Fill in the fields below, date, number of shares, total cost, and commission to record the cost basis for the missing shares. Then click Next to continue to the next security. If you purchased multiple share lots at different prices, feel free to record multiple entries for the same security. iBank won't move on to the next security until all shares have been accounted for. To skip a particular security, click the Skip button. If you do not use the Direct Connect option to download your account, you will have to enter your buy transactions manually. More on this in a minute. Your account is now set up. If you downloaded transactions from an institution, they will appear in your new account, or you can manually enter transactions. Please note that some institutions may only provide transaction history for recent months. More on this in a minute. Each time you buy or sell shares, receive a dividend, transfer cash in and out of your brokerage account, receive a capital gains distribution, etc., a transaction should be created in your investment account to record that action. Transactions in an investment account are different from transactions in a checking or savings account. Under the type heading, note all of the different transaction types that pertain to investments buy, sell, capital gains, dividends, etc. The security column contains the name of the security or its ticker symbol. If you add a name or ticker symbol for the first time, iBank will ask you to configure some additional options in the Create New Security window. The name of the security, its ticker symbol. iBank uses this symbol to download quotes for the security via the internet. The type of security, iBank will retrieve quotes automatically for stocks, mutual funds, ETFs, and indices when you click Download Quotes at the bottom of the Securities table. Prices for other types of securities will need to be entered manually. The level of risk involved with holding this security, ranging from the relatively low-risk inflation hedge to the comparatively high-risk growth option. The currency in which the security is traded and any additional notes you'd like to record for future reference. The next column contains fields for the price per share paid as a result of a purchase or dividend reinvestment or collected as the result of a sale, the amount of commission paid to a broker to conduct the transaction, the cash value of a dividend, interest income, capital gains, or capital distribution. The withdrawal column shows the cash amount of the transaction, indicating a negative value. The deposit column shows the cash amount of the transaction, indicating a positive value. Withdrawals or deposit figures are calculated automatically when buying or selling shares of a security, and the funding distribution property is set to cash. More on this in a minute. 
Shares in and shares out display the number of security shares added or deducted from your portfolio as a result of the transaction. The balance represents a running total of the account's overall cash value, showing each transaction's effect on the total. This field is automatically calculated by iBank and cannot be edited. Note that this balance represents the cash held in your brokerage account only. The market value of shares you own is not included here. It will be shown under the account's name on the source list and in any investment reports you generate. Each transaction has a funding distribution drop-down menu. This is the source of funding for a purchase or the means by which the funds are distributed after a sale, receipt of a dividend, or other investment transaction that generates income. The cash option means cash is deducted from the brokerage account and used to buy shares, or cash was deposited from the sale of shares into the brokerage account. This option is used for dividends, interest income, and capital gains. iBank will automatically calculate the amount of cash withdrawn or deposited using the price per share, number of shares added or deducted, and the commission you enter. The transfer option means cash is deducted from another account and used to buy shares, or cash is deposited from the sale of shares into another account. This option is also used for dividends, interest income, and capital gains. Use the category field to indicate which account the cash should be withdrawn from or deposited into iBank will automatically calculate the amount of cash transferred using the price per share, number of shares added or deducted, and commission you enter. Reinvest is only available for dividends, interest income, and capital gains. Use this option to indicate that the cash received was used to purchase additional security shares. Enter the price per share and number of shares added or deducted in the appropriate fields. The price multiplied by the number of shares must equal the amount of the dividend interest income. Now that you're familiar with all the aspects of a security transaction, let's assume that you need to finish setting up an investment account for which you have historical activity. We'll also assume that when you set up the account, your financial institution only delivered a recent history of transactions. This is very common. It's quite likely that you own securities which you need to add to this account for iBank to bring your investment value up to date. To get a complete picture of your investment account, you should log into your bank's website or look at a recent statement so you can see what your current positions are. Then for each position, add a buy transaction and set the date to the date that you first acquired the shares and enter the cost of them at the time they were purchased. Enter buy transactions so that the account you are setting up accurately reflects your current positions. You can enter multiple buy transactions for more than one security if you purchased it over multiple dates. Complete this process for each of your current positions. After you're done, adjust the opening balance so that the cash balance of the account accurately reflects the available cash. After you have entered your positions in the investment account, you'll want to make sure your security symbols are entered correctly in the securities table under the Manage section of the source list. If they are not listed on Yahoo Finance, you'll need to make sure their type is set to something other than Stock, Mutual Fund, or ETF, so iBank will not attempt to download quotes for them. You'll need to update these securities manually. This will ensure your account balances and investment reports are accurate. If you need to set up a mutual fund that is not in an investment account, simply follow the account setup steps illustrated earlier to create an iBank investment account that contains only the one security. For more information on this topic, view the Investments section on the iBank Help Documents.